Hey guys, I hope your day is going well, and in today's video, I'll be doing a little tutorial for my speed combo that I'm using right now. This was the video that won last week's poll, so before I start the tutorial, just a quick heads up, I'll be using the Puffin 2 for this tutorial, so yeah. Alright, there's nothing else to say, so let's get into the video. Hey guys, so first I'll show you what this combo looks like from my point of view, so... So that may have just looked like a lot. The elements themselves are pretty simple to comprehend, so just practice and I think you guys can get this. Alright, so let's jump right into it. So first, we're going to throw a kind of one and a half mount thing. A lot of players use this where they just pop into the top string and then back down. So here's what that looks like. You just go like go like you're going to go into a one and a half mount like that. But instead you shoot into this string like so and onto that. Just like that. So you're going on in hitting into the string and right into the one leading off of your throat hand. Alright so once you're there you're just gonna roll right on over to a one and a half mount. And then we're gonna roll over here like we're doing Buddha's Revenge. The trick that goes like, like that. So we're just, all we're doing is just going into the, right here, into the one and a half mount, and over here. All right, so now that we're over here, we're going to roll onto this string once, this string twice, and now that we're here, we're gonna bring our hand over so that this string right here just goes right into the gap of the yo-yo. So, from my point of view, since I'm playing right-handed right now, from my point of view, it's a counterclockwise rotation. So, one, two, counterclockwise. One, two, here. And now all you have to do is roll in a clockwise direction this way. So, one, two. So we're basically in the exact same mount we were before, just with an extra loop around here. So now that we've done that, we're gonna swing onto this string to get into a kamikaze mount, so just like that. And here it can be a little bit tricky, what you're basically gonna do is hop the yo-yo into the air like this, and undercut this string coming right off of your throw hand to put you in a Houdini mount. So it's kind of, some of you guys may have learned the kamikaze mount kind of like this, where you do um, like that to get into the kamikaze mount. So this is kind of like the reverse of that, so. Just gonna hop it right there, and now we're in the Houdini mount. So what we're gonna do here is just roll onto this string, let go with your thumb, roll onto this one, and do the exact same thing back. So that's basically a useless step. It's just right here, roll over, let go with your thumb, roll over, one and a half mount, go back the same way, and now we're back in the exact same mount, which is the kamikaze mount. Just a little thing for you guys to know, a lot of these speed combos that you see players do are just pretty much doing this, getting into a mount, and then going the reverse, the exact opposite way. So you'll notice like in this part right here, getting into a mount and going the exact opposite way. So now we're here, jump here, like so. All right, now that we're here, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna swing over like so and onto this string, just double it, like that. So, here, so we were here, swing over, and you want this to be done in a pretty fluid motion in general, just so it looks nice and clean, so, like that. Go the exact opposite way, and now, you normally think we go back into a kamikaze mount, but instead, we roll over both fingers, like so, just like that. So we're just basically rolling the yo-yo, for me, it's in a counterclockwise direction, like that. So just, we're rolling over our throw hand. And it should look like this. So you got like two loops around here, one finger in here. And so what we're gonna do here, is simply roll the yo-yo, like that. 
So like that. So we're here, roll all the way over, and just onto this string. So this can be a little bit tricky because like there's a lot of strings in this kind of mix, but all you're doing is rolling, putting your fingers right there and rolling onto those strings. So it should look like this. You've got your string coming off your throw hand, going all the way around, and you kind of got like a mess of strings right there. All you want to do is just roll right off like you had before. So this whole process should be done in kind of a fluid motion. So we're here, swing all the way over right there, and out the opposite way. And what we're going to do here, now this is the hardest part, so you're going to want to listen very carefully. We're going to swing like that, so our arms are crossed, just like so. And what we're going to do is hop the yo-yo into the air and uncross our arms, and that should get us into a kamikaze mount. Okay, so it sounds kind of crazy, but that's what it looks like. So, that can be really, really tricky. It took me forever to learn this element. But what we're going to do is here. We're here. Hop the yo-yo into the air and uncross your arms. It should normally just fall right into a kamikaze mount. So this can be tricky, and you're going to want to practice this, but you're just here. Hop the yo-yo into the air and uncross. So that can be tricky. Be sure to slow that part down if you're having trouble with it. If you've totally got that down, congrats. You're pretty much done with the trick. So we're back into the kamikaze mount. What we're just going to do is swing on over. Just kind of let go like that and bind. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the trick. It's like a lot of getting into a mount and going the exact opposite way. One more time, I'm going to do a little run through of it. So, here. Hit that string right back down. One and a half mount, swing over. One, two. Counterclockwise, one, two. Kamikaze mount. Bounce it into the air and grab it with your thumb. Here, let go. Back the same way. Swing over like that. Swing all the way over and hit that string. Swing over there and like so. Swing right off and you're done. In my 2016 November Illinois State Yo-Yo Contest uh, routine, I used this trick at the very beginning of my routine and it worked really well because it got me a ton of clicks. But Just by doing all of this, it looks it also looks very complex and professional. So I recommend you guys even make up your own speed combo from mine because speed combos look very flashy and very cool. So then again it is called a speed combo so you're going to want to practice this many times if to get it down fast. So with, with it looking fast, it can look like this. Like that. So yeah, that's about it for the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. And yeah, if you have any questions, just ask. I'm more than willing to help you guys out. So yeah, that's it for the trick. And... See you later. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial of the speed combo. If you guys have any questions whatsoever or need help with the trick or anything, leave them down below in the comments or you can email me and my email is in the description. Also, do not forget to vote in this week's poll. It's at the very beginning of this video, so go check that out so that you can decide what my video next week will be. I post weekly videos on Saturdays and if you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.